pharma giant Sibla, who's had to swallow a bitter pill in the fourth quarter with the company providing for a one-time uh, cost for restructuring operations. We were joined uh, earlier today by the management, so let's hear out his commentary. If you were to look at our business about a year back, our R&D spend was between 5% and 6%. And if you were to look at our business today, we're almost doing 8.5% of R&D. Mm -hmm. Right. So the, the slide that you reference is really a quarter to quarter comparison. Uh, okay. We're not necessarily uh, mentioning that this is going. You know, this is an explanation for the performance, but it's just giving you a perspective that despite the pressure, we're continuing to invest about eight nine percent on R&D going forward. Domestic growth saw a bump up in quarter four, but if you look at our quarter three numbers, it was not that high. So if you look at them. Both together, CIPLA would be growing at about 14 to 16 percent uh, growth in domestic. That's higher than market, uh, and therefore, uh, you know, we are, uh, uh, you know, we are. Our goal is to continue to grow CIPLA higher than market growth. Uh, it could be in the range of about 14 to 16 percent. The Inversion 483s have been closed. Uh, we've even received a product approval. Uh, for a product that we launched this quarter. So Invergen 483s are resolved. Indoor 483s, the last response went out to the FDA sometime in May. It will take them some time to come back to us. We remain committed and we are fairly confident about the response we've made. Uh, but like I always say, the FDA is the best judge. Uh, and at this point in time, we're waiting for the next uh, directive from the FDA. Our last inspections were in 2015. I think we could expect this next set of inspections coming up in 2017, end of 2016. Okay, then time to slip into a short break. But on the other side, MEP.